What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RasmarTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now I got a little surprise for you guys. Now this is a portable monitor. A company named Jashi reached out to me. They, they asked me if I wanted to do a review on one of their portable monitors. And this is the Onla 1503H model. It's a portable monitor, completely portable, light. We're gonna get into the unboxing and we're gonna test it out on a Raspberry Pi and a Lasse Panda to see how it performs. Now when they reached out to me, I said, hell yeah, send me one of these bad boys. I would love to use it because I can use it for a million different projects. My Raspberry Pi projects, my any project I could think of I can use this monitor. It's a portable 1080p IPS monitor. It's not cheap but if you guys are looking for a portable monitor that you can just take around any anywhere on the go and that's pretty light and it does not weigh basically almost nothing. It's like a pound then this is the perfect monitor for you guys. So we're gonna get right into the unboxing right now. All right, so this is the box here. As you see, it's just a normal box. Now we're going to lift this lid right here. All right, so I know you guys are laughing at me. That was a horrible British accent, right? But prove, prove it to me you can do better. I think we've been officially pranked right now because there's nothing in this box. As you can see, they sent me a empty box. They're, they're trying to troll me. I don't know why they're trying to troll me. I got so freaking excited because they were supposed to send me a monitor, but they sent me an empty box instead. Nah, I don't know what to do now. I should just go go to bed and just cry myself to sleep. All right, guys, I'm just kidding. I opened the box the wrong way, but you know, whatever. Let's just lift this off. Uh oh, it's getting messy here. Close this here. Okay. If I lift this up here, I'm a noob. I lift this shit up backwards. Okay. We got, I don't know what we got yet. It looks like some sort of brick. Power, I'm guessing some sort of power brick for something. I don't know. I'm guessing this is the battery. This is what makes it portable or I don't know, whatever. This is a HDMI cable. Let's see what else. All right. Nothing in the, nothing in the cardboard. Throw that out of the way. Now this is a cool like uh, blue sack that that helps protect the screen. So I'm just gonna throw this on that side over there. Voila. Now this is the screen here, as you can see. Pretty freaking thin. It's like weighs almost nothing to be honest with you. So this you could take with you anywhere you go, connect to any HDMI device. Before I talk about the specs, let's just remove this cellophane. Is that the word for it? Cellophane, no. Goddamn, cellophane doesn't want to open. I'm guessing it's made out of the same material they make condoms, like freaking indestructible, right? All right, I think I'm just being a noob. <laughs> I gotta lift this thing off first, then remove the cellophane. God, you're an idiot. All right, guys, I got my kindergarten scissor here. Don't ask me why I have kindergarten scissors, but I'm gonna use my kindergarten scissor to open up this cellophane. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna bring back this blue sack right here just to protect the monitor so I don't scratch it against the table here. Now this is, like, this is the cover, I guess, for the monitor. I'll just put it back on, see if it fits. When you transport it, this is like no, no heavier than a regular laptop, to be honest with you, it's pretty light. And we're gonna go over the specs in a second, but let me just open this up here. Now, uh, this is the bottom right there. This is where the knobs and all the rest of the ports are. So right over here, right over here, these are, these are just some normal, I guess, uh, monitor knobs to control like the brightness and contrast and all that stuff. And right here, this is where you would connect like the HDMI USB type C. And it does have USB type C by the way. So I thought that was pretty cool. Today we're gonna do a demonstration. Uh, I'm gonna connect my Lante Panda. If you guys don't know, Lante Panda is a single board Windows Intel based computer to this monitor, see how it looks. And I wanna connect my Raspberry Pi 3 to this monitor to see if I will look. This monitor is gonna serve as like my portable uh, test station, portable monitor for testing out like single board computers like the Raspberry Pi and the Lante Panda. We're actually gonna test it out on the Lante Panda and Raspberry Pi today. I'm gonna set it up, but let's Let's go over some of the specs. Now it has a 1080p full HD display, refined display by the way. It's a fully IPS panel, which will give you true colors, really slim, has narrow bezels, has built-in speakers and USB type C. So we're gonna test out this bad boy right now. All right guys, so we're gonna test this out right now. I got the monitor powered on. We got our Latte Panda right here. If you guys don't know, Latte Panda is a single board Windows Intel based computer. Latte Panda was kind enough to send me one up for review. 
I did a bunch of videos and I even water cooled the Latte Panda. If you guys want to check that out, look at my video description. You'll find a link to that Latte Panda video and all my Latte Panda videos in the description. But I connected everything. All right, so this is the H micro HDMI that connects to the monitor, which turns into this big HDMI cable, which is connected to the Latte Panda. I have the wireless mouse and keyboard connected using its dongle, wireless dongle. And I have the power cord connected. This is a 6.5 volts to power the Latte Panda, just like the Raspberry Pi. Now let's get started. All I need to do, let's power up the Latte Panda and see what happens. Happens. All right, so it's loading. You can see the Latte Panda logo right there. All right, guys, Latte Panda is loading. By the way, it runs full-blown Windows 10. Not that bullcrap Windows 10 that runs on the Raspberry Pi, but full-blown Windows 10 you would run on, on your home desktop. Bam! Now look at that right there. That is freaking sweet right there. Well, let me go into the settings. Make sure that we're running at 1080p. Gonna, I'm gonna maximize this for a second. Scroll down to advanced. Then scroll down. We want 1920 by 1080. Hit apply. Bam! Keep changes. Now this is sexy right here. Alright, 1080p baby. An IPS panel. So you can pretty much use this as a second monitor to your computer if you want a dual dual monitor. Uh, you can use this as a dual monitor for any computer. And I, I believe the Raspberry Pi and Latte Panda, you're able to use it as a dual monitor as well. Now, the major, major, major reason I wanted to get my hands on this is because I want to use it as my test monitor, my test bench monitor. Now, that's not going to be the only only thing I'm going to use it for. There's like a million things I'm going to use it for. I'm going to use it as my second monitor in my computer, my 4K computer. Whenever I want to like watch videos, I just connect a spare HDMI cable and duplicate the monitor or whatever and use it as my spare monitor. Whenever I want to do like color correcting, because this is a full IPS monitor, which means it has true colors, my 4K monitor is not a IPS monitor. So it means it's not good for color correcting and getting your uh, colors right in the video. So this would be perfect for color correcting. I'm going to use this on the side. I have a million, million reasons to use this monitor. Again, it's going to be my like test bench monitor, wherever I need to test out my Raspberry Pis or any, any single board computer, anything with a BGA. I can just like, it's only a pound. I can just grab it, take it, plug it into anywhere I need to plug it in, and we're good to go, man. This thing is amazing. I, I'm gonna love it. I know I'm gonna love it. But let's test it out with the Raspberry Pi. All right, guys, so now I'm using my iPhone to film the rest of this right here. As you can see, this is my iPhone 6S Plus, and I'm filming in 4K. That's my Dragon Ball Z poster right there. I love Dragon Ball Z. I got another one right over there. I'm gonna try to film this. Sorry, I'm gonna try to fill this wall with like Dragon Ball Z posters and like paintings and stuff like that. So this is like my, my setup as you can see right here. This is like a bit crazy. <laughs> my computer, you guys probably seen this. If you guys haven't seen it, I built this computer a while back. It's a beast of a computer. It's got the 5960X to 8 core Intel X99 uh, platform uh, CPU. It's got like 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. And it, it's a beast. If you guys want me to talk more about my computer and how I build it, let me know and I'll talk more about the computer. Or maybe how, or sorry, I maybe have future upgrades. Now, as you can see right here, this is the Raspberry Pi 3 I have here. And it's connected to our portable monitor right there. I wanted to use the iPhone to get more of like a vlog-like feel at the end of the video because I want to buy a vlogging camera. I, I need a V camera, a camera I can just take around. It has awesome like autofocus, it's 4K. And uh, that I can take around, film myself and film other things. Now my other camera is like right over there. It's pretty cool. I love it, but you can't really take it around and uh, film yourself like a vlog like you would with like an iPhone. So I'm gonna get myself a brand new uh, vlogging or V camera for doing other things like a 4K. I was looking into like Sony's, Sony's look pretty cool. So I might get a Sony, but we'll see in the future. All right, so this is my Raspberry Pi 3. I have it connected to this keyboard. I have the internet connected to the Raspberry Pi 3. I have this HDMI cable connected to our portable monitor right over there. As you can see, it's pretty cool. Now a Raspberry Pi 3, we know it's not that fast, but as you can see, I'm clicking this here. And these are all the icons. A normal Raspberry Pi 3 GUI right here. This is Raspbian. Yes, yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's try to let's see what happens. If I go to internet and let's browse on the web. A Raspberry Pi is not that fast, by the way. So if I type in something, it might take a while for it to load. So let's type in YouTube. All right, we're going to YouTube right now. As you can see, it took a little while to load. It's not that slow. It's probably faster than computers we had like five years ago, to be honest. But all right, so let's just load any video, some random video. I guess this is the trending page. And by the way, this does have built-in speakers. Let's make sure we're playing this at 
full resolution. It plays uh, 1080p videos pretty well. And this is a 1080p screen, by the way. 1080p IPS. Awesome colors, awesome viewing out. Sorry, awesome viewing angles. You can view this from all the way in the side right here. So let me talk about who this monitor is geared for. Now this monitor is geared for people who are on the go and uh, tinker with things like I do. Like I, I tinker with a lot of different things like Raspberry Pis and single board computers and stuff like that. Or for people that are on the go who are like web developers or they're like graphics artists or they do like video editing. This is awesome because you can take this with you, put it in your uh, like laptop bag and use like a second secondary monitor. I I've been using this as a second monitor for a while now since I've gotten this. I've been using it for a second monitor for my 4K monitor right here. It's perfect because when I'm like uh, doing work with this computer, I'm like, I might be like video editing something. I can watch like a video on this side or I can be like doing, uh, while this is like rendering, I could watch a video over here or I could be using this for like uh, color grading, like using Photoshop to create my thumbnails and stuff like that. So this is a awesome monitor. I'm gonna have like so much fun using this monitor because I have a million things to use it for. I, I, I'm, I'm really happy that Jashik sent me this. I'm grateful. If you guys want one of these monitors for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like and stay tuned for more videos using this monitor here. I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com and thank you guys for watching.